Welcome to Viva Pinata. The timing begins the second that this screen disappears. Alright, come on. And the timing begins right now. Get set. Oops. There we go. Welcome to Viva Pinata. Uh, this is a game made by Rare Company, the Rare Company. Um, as you see, we're walking down this beautiful garden and we see somebody at the very end here. Her name is Lottie, or uh, is uh, Lipos, and she's crying because somebody destroyed her garden. So, we're gonna talk to her. Go we'll do a bunch of menuing here at the very beginning. This beginning is kind of slow, but it starts picking up after the first night. This has this game has a night cycle phase. We're gonna go into the journal. Then she wants us to actually go into the journal. Then we're going to talk to her again. Alert. And now she's gonna give us the specific shovel to actually get rid of everything and um, start helping out this garden. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be pounding on the ground here. We're going to grab out the shovel and we're going to pound on the ground. But when we do that, we're also going to um, move over onto the items. We have to destroy at least two items, which allows for our first um, for our first world, our first pinata, the worm, to come into our game into the game. Um. This is, uh, this will always be accurate, but now, uh, here, this game is all based off of, um, RNG. Um, we have our first worm, which we knew what was, was gonna happen, but now, we just have to wait for him to come in, and we don't know when he's actually gonna, uh, enter into the garden. Alright, now we have all of those items all destroyed, and now we're going to go and we're going to flatten out all the rest of the land here. So what I just did there is I actually skipped a cutscene. Yes, there are cutscenes in this game that we can skip. Um, we're only going to be doing that twice throughout the game because there's no need to do it in any other areas. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm just going to be flattening out this garden in order to do the next part. Uh, like I said before, this level is, or this run is very heavily RNG based. And, um, so, since I have, uh, uh, since it's RNG-based, we still have a little bit of ways to manipulate the RNG by setting specific stuff down in our garden, as well as, um, placing stuff in particular areas. Now, this is, these are the seeds that we skip the cutscene for. Normally, the cutscene would be, like, what we saw for the shovel. There we go. And now here comes the Serpent. Uh, the only way for him to appear and show up in our garden is to have a certain amount of uh, grass in our garden. You were now we're just waiting for our little worm friends to come in. It does not look, there's one. The other one is way over there. This is very bad RNG, so what we're gonna do while we wait is why not just clean up a little bit more of this. So, the first uh, time that we um, would be um, Naming a pinata would be coming up right here after this after wow both of them came in at the same time. That's actually Very good So in order to get our next uh, uh, Visit we have to have uh, a worm active in our garden And we also have to go into the information because this is still technically part of the tutorial of the game so we have to, they're going to do that. We're going to go into the information. She's going to talk a little bit more. Then that's where we would be able to name our first pinata. 
Next up, we have the Sparrow Mint, and then it's going to show another cutscene for um, our first human character. All right, Willy. This is our building extraordinaire. You're gonna see Willy once and only once throughout this entire run. We're not gonna be building anything else. We're gonna be building it right here in the corner because this allows for Willy to get into the building faster as well as manipulating a little bit of RNG later on when one of our other characters comes in. All right, now we just wait for Willy. We got our Serapint to visit, which is really good. And here comes Mr. Willy. Um, normally you wouldn't come out here, but all you have to do is just keep pushing your, um, your, uh, your controller forward or your mouse forward, and you're able to skip out of the level. So this is really good. The worms are really close, which is what we need. And right here, Willy is going to go into this building here, and he's going to start building for about 10 seconds after that 10 seconds uh, he's going to close the door and st and once the door closes we count to one and then hit a that will be the fastest that we can actually destroy this building of the box around the building and door close one now We got you all the way up here already. And now we need you to follow suit. So right here we're getting our first two worms uh, romanced. In order to do that, all you need is to have two worms in here, enough grass, and a um, and a worm, worm house. We're going to be doing a little romance game here. We just had to get the other worm over worm over to that one. But um, what you normally want to try and do here is this is where you would be collecting coins. However, we're not really using coins until the very end of the game and we'll have enough to buy what we need. So... We'll just do this right now and now I'll try and be as quiet as I can for this next area because this is the best part of the run. So that's the only time that you'll be seeing a romance dance throughout the entire game. Alrighty. So now, I don't know where the... Okay, we're good. So, uh, we needed that. And now while this, while he's becoming a resident, which needs two worms to be a resident as well as a worm house, or uh, two worms to romance as well as having a worm house. And now we have that resident, and now we wait for, uh, for Star, uh, Starkos to bring the egg for us. We're gonna grab this egg and we're gonna bring it over here. I am one of the few people that actually brings it over here, and the reason that I do that is because once this egg hatches, it's going to want to start following its parents, and the parents, for some reason, right after this happens, always head back into the house. So we don't want it to do that because it'll waste a little bit of time, and in order to continue on with the tutorial, we need three worms in here to be full grown. Alrighty, so as you see, it's going to want to follow its parents. We want it to be full color. Now we want it to just completely go away from its parents. It's going to get sad that it's away from its parents, and hopefully going to want to be a full-grown worm. You want to be 
a full-grown worm. I know you do. Usually I can speed this up by doing this. There we go. It wants to be a, a full-grown pinata now. Now we're going to keep on hitting A as fast as we can here to crack it out of there. And now we only have one more thing. And then we're done with the tutorial. We want to... Right here it's going to ask us if we want to build a carrot or a turnip. We want to build a turnip here because it's actually uh, faster to uh, get a mouse mellow into here than it is for uh, to get a... Um, to get a uh, bunny comb. The mouse mellow only wants a... Um, only wants one turnip to eat to become a resident. The bunny comb wants two carrots to be... Uh, to, wants to eat two carrots. And as you saw there, I skipped the last cutscene that we're going to be skipping in this game. So, here we go. Come on. We need to water this twice. As you see around the leaf there, in the center, there are little water notches. And each one of those counts as one pour of the, um, uh, uh, to get some water. We don't want to go over the notch that we're at right here because of overwater and we don't want to go down below this because it starts slowing it down and if you go too far below it's going to uh, be underwater and slow down dramatically. So this is almost done. There we go. And that should be done and we should be done with the tutorial. Alrighty. Now we're going to be activating the Mouse Mellow. The Mouse Mellow only has about a 1 or 2% chance of actually going into the garden the first night, but it is possible. I've never had it happen. Um, but uh, once the Mouse Mellow comes out, it starts activating nighttime, the nighttime cycle, where um, things are really slow because we really can't do anything. Um, but anyway, you need to get out of here, Mr. Serapint. We do not want the serpent around because the mouse mallow gets frightened by the serpent. The only reason we would want the serpent around after this is to actually make him a resident of our of our town. And the nighttime begins in three, two, one. Now the moth drop activates nighttime completely, which um, more than likely means we will not get the mouse mallow. But anyway. Here is the moth drop. We we technically have enough experience to level up two times. The goal of, of this is to get to level 10, and that's activated by getting different experience by placing items, getting residents, uh, getting them to show up, and getting residents of your uh, uh, garden. So, um, we technically have enough for two levels, and... Um, we want this moth drop to join so we'll get an extra two experience points. There's one more cutscene that we have to go through and then we'll start focusing on um, what do you want Lepos? So where's our moth drop? Aha! We're good. Come on. You want to be happy. Come on. Come on in. You just have to walk in. No, come on. Here is More than likely, we will get a moth drop. They usually show up. But now, now that we have a timer, we have to wait until 6 o'clock on the, on, the, the, on the pedals for it to become daytime again. But we have until the 5 for the moth drop to become a resident. It's about 30 seconds, basically, for this to go around once. It looks like we might not be getting the moth drop tonight, which is unfortunate. In order for him to become a resident, we need uh, it to be nighttime and to have a fire item inside of the garden. We still have a little bit of a chance for him to join us. But anyway, um, I'm choosing this game because a lot of people have heard of it and have played it casually and don't know that there is a speedrun for this game. But it's very easy to uh, learn. The community is great, and it, 
if you want to join, just go to our Discord server or our speedrun.com page, and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. We are not getting moth drop tonight, which is unfortunate. The worms and the sparrowmen should be waking up. Oh, wait. You're going to come in at the last second, dude? Oh, we might get him at the last second. Come on. No? Okay, we did not get him off drop tonight. That's not that big of an issue at all. What's our bigger issue here now is uh, we need the mouse mellow to come into our garden now that that's all messed up. Is just waiting until this last little area right here. He just needs to finish up. We're going to be getting our first level here right away after this first cutscene. This and level one and level two. Now, what we're waiting for is we need the Mouse Mellow to come in and eat this turnip. Um, then we need Cedos, our next uh, character here, to come and um, give us seeds. This is where very heavy RNG comes into play. Um, Cedos will uh, drop <laughs> up where... What we need him to drop for us is a turnip, uh, two or three carrots, four daisies and a um and two buttercups um you can get as much as all of those or you can get as little as zero which i've gotten multiple times in the past so what's going to happen here is he's going to come and he's going to uh walk into our garden we're going to hit him we're going to hit him which makes him walk closer to the center of the screen. And we're going to hit him three more times now. There's nothing you One, two, three. That was really good. We got two carrots, a buttercup, and a daisy. Which is actually almost perfect for what we need. That was actually really, really good. Where is our turn up at? Way up here? Eat it, please, without seeing the serpent. That's really good. So, now we just have to wait for these to um, grow for us. That's really, really good right now because the serpent is right next to the mouse mellow. And the hunt has started, and that's the reason that we need the serpent in here. That is fantastic. So now that Cedos is back, he's kind of mad at us. So what he's going to do is he's going to be dropping uh, bad seeds. We want these bad seeds in our garden. Because it allows for us to upgrade the Sparrow Mint. Now we're going to hit him. We're going to constantly be hitting him. Ah! We got the, we got the bunny comb. Just keep hitting him here until he disappears. We're gonna 
that's the one that we need. Oh, he dropped two of them. Okay, a syrup pinch is in. That's really good. We got a lot to worry about right now. Okay, we're going to grab this and we're going to plant that. We are not going to plant the other one. However, we will plant this. This is our buttercup. We have two daisies right over here. We want our buttercup to grow. Okay, there's our buttercup. Tafly. gonna pick this up but we're not gonna plant it just drop it we do not want to plant that because we're gonna need it for when the taffly joins us bunnycomb visitor come on over mr. bunnycomb don't you kill my PV with this run <laughs> okay we need you to eat that other carrot please mr. bunnycomb please do not leave All right, Lottie is really good. We need one more carrot and four more and three more. We're gonna go into here and Miss Lottie is our, um, is our store, general store. We're going to drop that in like we need. Thanks. Uh, buttercup we do not need. We need a couple more daisies here. We're gonna get three more. Then we are going to go down here, grab the fire branch because we need it for the moth drop to uh, join us. And now we're done. And now we have the bunny comb in, which is really good because the pret's tail will come in at, at night. And... Um, there we go. Garden improved to level four. And our Tafly will come in. Oh, we already have a sour shelly bean. Uh, which can sometimes be bad, but uh, he might take a little bit to come in. Raise ant already, oh wait. We don't have to worry about the cut that cutscene later then, that's good. I don't know, Ginger, I don't really know how to do it. What we need to do now is we need to destroy this fast enough so nobody gets affected by it, gets shocked by it. They start fighting if they get shocked by it, that's good. And you, Mr. Sparrowmint, will go right here. That's a daisy. Alrighty, that's really good. We're gonna get a variant. This is how we're going to level up a bunch of different stuff. Here's our first book we can't actually skip. My name is Jardinari. You go and eat that then. That's a daisy. Buttercup. Daisy. Then you should become a resident as well as you becoming a different variant. Cool, cool. This will this should level us up again. Perfect. 
Fred's tail that will become a resident once he eats the um, bunny comb. All right, now we're gonna have, we're gonna do a couple of things here with the Tafli. We're gonna have him eat that for us to become uh, something else. And then... And then after that, we are going to have him fly into the firebrand that we have. We're gonna have you fly into that. For us, please. Now that he's on fire, we are going to put him out by pouring water in him, on him. And we have the shovel now that that allows for us to dig. We're gonna build up five different um, holes here. All right. And we're gonna, after this, we're going to go into cost a lot again, and we're going to buy a bunch of different things that we need. We're gonna get out of this. We're gonna go in to cost a lot that we need. And we're going to, we're gonna go up to our seeds. We're going to buy five, uh, we're gonna buy one, two... Uh, place item and place item. Then we're gonna buy a poppy seed. Buy ourselves a corn seed. And last but not least, we're going to get this apple seed. We're gonna plant and place. And now we need our fire. Where is our. There we go. Our red hot is way over here. We need this red hot to eat one of the bluebell seeds. So it will get its other variant. Mr. Red Hot, stop flying around. You are going to eat that. Then we need you, Mr. Worm, we need you to eat that. Eat that for me. We did not get a... A plant is dried out. Oh, whoops. We're going to water you. Alrighty. One of my pinatas is sick, which is really unfortunate. Because then it's going to get another cutscene to have somebody come in here. Alright, we're going to get another cutscene. Then we level, oh, after the this cutscene, we have leveled up once again. Oops. Gretchen, please. We don't use Gretchen in this run at all. Miss Petula, that's really good. Hey, sweet, how are you? Oh, joy. Then we have the Pret's Tail. Uh, 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 uh. 
Then we have the moth drop. I am I will do that, Swede. I first need to go into cost a lot here. We're going to sell our red hot that we that we uh work so hard on. Thanks for calling. Then we're gonna go into Miss Petula here. And we're going to buy a cluckle. You need to The cluckle will be placed right over here for the purpose of <sighs> We're going to be making We're going to be making this cluckle eat up that, I believe, if I remember correctly. If I did this correctly, we should be done here in any second. Yes, I did that correctly. So he will become a variant, and we will be done with this run. That is actually a really decent run in the end. It started off pretty bad. But we got it. The Sour Shelly Bean is here also, once we get our, our experience for him. Okay, there's one cutscene. And one more. And once the timing ends, the second that... And time. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is a uh, level 10 garden. I hope that this is chosen for the um, no no or no glitches allowed uh, marathon. And uh, thanks for watching.